wow, that could be a turning point in our season. Hello guys, Norris City Central, back for another video. Norris City 3, Sheffield Wednesday 1, and that is a big three points against the Sheffield Wednesday side who have also been underwhelming this season. And that might just be a turning point in Norris City's season, and it might be a demoralising point in Sheffield Wednesday season as they were singing for their manager to be sacked. This is my match review of the game. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. And yeah, let's get into the review. Um, the I mean, I'm going to start with the first half and then talk about the second half and then conclude about the game. But the first half, you know, it was a really, really disappointing start to the game. We lacked, it, it, there was some similar problems, similar traits from our last three months of home games. We lacked intensity, we lacked a good bit of tempo um, and we were just really slow on the ball. And Sheffield Wednesday took the lead through some dreadful defending. Mario Rancic not closing his man, Pinto not closing his man. Adam Reach has a lot of time inside the box he just clips the ball into Jordan Rose, Tim Close to Grant Hanley, Mar Marco Stupeman don't react and it's a simple goal for Jordan Rose to score and that was really disappointing because it was such an easy easy goal and defensively we weren't switched on and although we were winning games earlier on in the season that's because of our great defensive skills. Um, at the moment we can't seem to be keeping clean sheets and we're just lacking a bit of defensive solidarity. However we did turn that around didn't we in the second half. Oliveira also missed a good chance in the first half. Uh, we robbed the ball off the Madison and Pritchard looking so lively. They were the bright sparks and without their influence we wouldn't have won that game 100%. Oliveira slipped in and he misses a sitter. He also had another good chance from a cross um, which Westwood made a smart save. And honestly the first half we lacked tempo, we lacked in intensity. But when we did have our bright sparks, those three players linked up. Pritchard, Madison and Nelson. They were all, you know, when they got the ball they all looked like they were going to create something, you know. Um, obviously, it didn't all work, always work out, but they're the three players who you feel, wow, you know, they can take us forward this season. Um, in the 44th minute, they could have made it 2-0, an absolute shambles from a corner. We've been really poor defending corners this season, and Gary Hooper uh, has a shot, and I think it's saved by Angus Gunn. That's a big chance, and that's a big turning point in the game, because if Sheffield Wednesday may get 2-0, um, you know, it, it gets a lot worse for Daniel Farker and a lot worse for Norris City. Um, and yeah, the first half ended and the atmosphere was terrible, but, you know... I think I think the, I think the atmosphere completely lifted in the second half, and that's because of some brilliance from James Madison and Nelson Oliveira as well. Nelson Oliveira forced an amazing save off of Westwood in the second half, and you saw Nelson Oliveira did have a bit of intent in his game. Um, and yeah, like I said, I thought the tempo was a lot better than what it was in the first half. You know, we we got some cracking players, but unfortunately, the ball doesn't get to them enough because Daniel Farker likes to play possession football where we're quite lethargic with the ball. If we can get to those play if we can get to Madison Pritchard Oliveira quicker and increase the tempo, we can score goals. But it's just adapting the game plan slightly because although possession based football is good, at the end of the day, you know, we've got to be creating chances and I don't think we create it with Daniel Farker. We need to be we need to be getting the ball forward quicker and having better movement. But anyway, losing a bit off track there. Madison with a brilliant goal, Pritchard with a great surging run, Westwood makes a save um, it falls to Madison from an angle and it's a good finish from James Madison and he's the starlet in the team. He's a bright spark. He's he's a confident lad and I hope, just hope he stays in January because a lot of clubs are going to be after him, aren't they? Um, and then once we scored the goal, the tempo dropped again and this is my problem with Daniel Farker. Although I think we should keep him and I think he can perhaps lead us to glory one day, you know, getting us back up to the Premier League. Probably not this season. Um, but the thing is, Daniel Farker's just, I, I feel like, just how he wants us to play sometimes we're just a bit too lethargic and I think he should be saying right yeah, let's play possession for base football but you know when we've got a chance let's be let's be playing that ball quicker because I still don't think our tempo is good enough and I don't think we're creating as many chances as we need to um but anyway um we make it 2-1 and it's a Madison corner Tim Closer with a brilliant header we haven't scored a lot of corners but Tim Closer with a bullet header making it 2-1 and you can see what that meant to him and what that meant to the Norwich City fans Sheffield Wednesday got a few bodies forward towards the latter stages of the game, but Grant Hanley, Tim Closer defended so well. And I was saying earlier on in the first half how they didn't react to the chart, react to the danger. They certainly reacted to danger in the second half, and they put in a great performance. Um, Grant Hanley looking very solid, and Tim Closer certainly improving um, because obviously recently I don't think he's actually been that brilliant, but he certainly put in a great performance there. And then three one, we made it three one. Harrison Reed getting fouled in the box, and Nelson Oliveira confidently dispatches it, and we win the game three one. And the atmosphere was certainly lifted. The first half, I, I've got to say, the fans were absolutely dire in terms of the atmosphere. It was very quiet. But second half, a lot more songs were coming out, um, and it was just a better, a better feel good atmosphere around Carrow Road and around Norwich City Football Club. 
overall a 3-1 win. We can't paper over the cracks. I still think our tempo is sometimes too slow and certainly in the first half there was a lack of movement. But you can see with these players, Alex Pritchard, Nelson Oliveira and James Madison, these are three fantastic players and a lot of championship clubs would be lucky to have those three players. We've got them and we need to make sure we're getting to the ball, getting them... Um, we, we need to make sure they're getting the ball as much as possible and creating chances because they're really, really good and really, really dangerous. That's my natural view. Please leave your thoughts down below. Norwich City 3, Sheffield Wednesday 1. A turning point we'll see in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching and stay subscribed.